Donkey Job Projects. What is up, everybody? This is Marshall Lee of DonkeyJawProjects.com. And today is day 55 of 100 days making comics. <laughs> trying to be energetic here because I'm tired. I'm really tired. Today was a big, uh, long warehouse day lifting heavy things and working really hard nonstop, which in one way is kind of cool because it made the day kind of go by sort of quicker, but I don't know. I'm tired. I haven't been going to bed. I've been going to bed really late too lately, so... And it was a big snow day, lots of snow. Once again, um, we had another nor'easter here in New England. Um, I did my comic. I woke up this morning and uh, did some time on my comic on uh, drawing more brains. Pretty much that's all I did today was draw brains. It takes a long time to draw brains. <laughs> and just other little details um, for the comic cover for Attack of the Lizard Brain. And then uh, during lunchtime, I was really tired. I was literally falling asleep while I was drawing. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I worked on um, some uh, concept art for the referees um, for the game in the Glyph comic. So, um, yeah, that kind of came out okay. I, I kind of, I like doing concept art, but it's like something that could take forever. Um, and I feel like, you know, they always say, like, do, like, a lot of different iterations before you settle on one. And I try that sometimes, and all that does is make me kind of um, get very indecisive. <laughs> Like, I don't know which one to decide, or, or maybe all of them are, I don't really like that much. I tend to get an idea of what I want something to look like in my head and just draw it. And sometimes that, that, that first thing ends up being what the design is. Um, and I would say it's a lazy way to do it, but it's kind of not because usually when I do that, it's better than when I uh, do a bunch of iterations first. I don't know. I don't know why, but for some reason, a bunch of different silhouettes and things like that doesn't really help me. I don't know. I know that's what that's totally against what people say. You know, you should do like, once you're hitting like 20, then now you're gonna start getting to the good ones, you know? <laughs> and maybe I never just did 20. I mean, I, that's just an arbitrary number, but they say, like, do a lot of them until you get to the design you want to do. And then you got to refine that design and this and that. And uh, I don't know. I'm not that great of a designer when it comes down to it, I guess. I, if I don't have the idea right away, then I kind of struggle with it and settle on something that I don't love, I guess. So I don't know. But sometimes I come up with really cool stuff on the fly, so... I don't know. How do, how do you guys do design? Do you, do you find that it's easier on the first try or, you know, do you have to do a million of them first? Anyways, that's about it. That's what I'm thinking about today. Um, I did kind of come up with an answer last night for what I was talking about. Um, um, I got really like excited actually I, I have a new goal and you know the answer to the question you know what um, see I am tired <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying about that um, oh is there like is there any, how do you stand out you know what I mean like how do you in this world of all kinds of different styles and somehow like people tended to focus on this thing of like trends and stuff like don't follow trends or you know in the comments you know thanks by the way for the comments but I don't know maybe I wasn't clear but I, I wasn't really thinking about like trying to go for trends I was in fact that's you know I was trying to think about like how just how do we stand out 
And, you know, just kind of being yourself and doing your own thing makes a lot of sense, which is what I think Mike Emmerich said. And, um, you know, doing quality work and stuff like that. And I get that. Um, but I did think of how I feel like, I don't know if it's how I'll stand out, but how, like, I, I kind of can't had a kind of an epiphany of like, and it's something I already know, but, um, but how, like my strategy of how I'm going to make this thing work. Um, and I'm really excited. It's a secret strategy though. <laughs> I don't want to say it because I feel like it'll be like weird and I don't know. I feel like people might take it the wrong way so but it's it's a good strategy it's nothing bad or anything it's just you know getting stuff done and whatnot but um yeah I don't know I'm really excited and um I just I wish I had more time to make stuff but I'm gonna make this work even though I don't have a lot of time so yeah <laughs> god willing um so that's about it i really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch these and i put up a video today it actually came out a few hours late by accident because the scheduling thing didn't work on youtube or i didn't set it right or something but um you know i, I put up that video today of um the uh, uh take me to your leader tuesday the one i did for today mother hover <laughs> and uh yeah so check that out let me know what you guys think and if any of you uh decided to do take me to your litter tuesday as well um hit me up i'd love to see it and other than that again i really appreciate you guys hanging out and uh checking out my video and i will talk to you tomorrow day 55 signing out peace out